seven years in jail without trial. British terror suspect Baba Ahmed tells the BBC he's the victim of a massive injustice. In an exclusive interview from his high security prison, he accuses prosecutors of mishandling his case and says he wants to face trial here rather than the US. They outsourced my case to the Americans and asked them to seek my extradition. As a result of that, I've been in this nightmare. Hose pipe bans are imposed in drought hit areas of England. Up to 20 million people are affected. It will have a considerable impact on us. We don't have an unlimited supply of, of volunteers. And obviously, watering a garden this size with watering cans takes a heck of a lot longer than it does with a hose pipe. Millions of people are affected as tax and benefit changes come into force. We'll be looking at the winners and losers. A millionaire's daughter who drove looters around London during the summer riots has been found guilty of burglary. And thousands turn out to see the Queen, who's at York Minster, for the traditional offering of Maudie money. Later on BBC London, concerns that official ticket agents could be fueling the black market in Olympic tickets. And criticism of security services as the wife of one of the 7-7 bombers is suspected of going on the run. Hello, welcome to the BBC News at One. Good afternoon. A terror suspect who's become the longest prisoner in a British jail to be held without trial has given an exclusive interview to the BBC claiming a massive injustice. Baba Ahmed, held without trial for a record seven years, has told the BBC he wants to be prosecuted in the UK rather than be extradited to the United States. He's accused the police and prosecutors of mishandling his case, adding to his unprecedented detention. Scotland Yard and the Crown Prosecution Service have denied impropriety. Next Tuesday, the European Court of Human Rights will rule on his extradition. Our Home Affairs correspondent Dominic Casciani reports. He's the longest serving prisoner in a British jail, never convicted of a crime. The US authorities are fighting to extradite him, claiming he ran extremist websites to support terrorists. In days, he'll find out his fate. In an exclusive BBC interview from prison, Barbara Ahmed claims he's been denied justice by the British authorities. I would urge the Director of Public Prosecutions to please put me on trial in this country and to find out what has gone wrong in my case? There has been a serious and unprecedented abuse of process. The government tried to stop us meeting Barbara Ahmed, but High Court judges backed the BBC. These were taken at the police station. He's been held since 2004 in maximum security, awaiting extradition to the United States. Detention without trial is the most unimaginable type of psychological torture that anyone could think of. They are interested in fighting. Evan Coleman is an extremism expert who's likely to testify against Baba Ahmed in America. He shows me the website behind the allegations. There had never been a site like this that had a direct line in, not just to, to radicals or extremists, but people who were movers and shakers in the world of jihad and the mujahideen, people who were important. If Baba Ahmed is put on trial, the big question is where? His alleged crimes took place on computers in London, but he's wanted here in Connecticut. This is where his alleged website servers were based, and this is where US prosecutors say he should face justice. But Baba Ahmed says the Metropolitan Police sent his case to America when he could have been prosecuted at home. They outsourced my case to the Americans and asked them to seek my extradition. As a result of that, I've been in this nightmare the Metropolitan Police denies wrongdoing and the Crown Prosecution Service says he can't be charged. Next week, the European Court of Human Rights will decide whether Baba Ahmed can be sent to America. Dominic Kashani, BBC News, Long Latin Prison. Well, you can see the full interview with Baba Ahmed on Newsnight at 10.30 tonight on BBC Two.